really my main goal at the beginning was just try to cut costs and <laughs> make paint for cheap. I eventually ended up figuring out how to patina copper on paper, which is kind of cool. The, the effects that I create, if I were to do it on a copper plate, would cost hundreds of dollars. What I do is I take the root kill, which is the copper sulfate, I dissolve it in water, and then I add baking soda to it. Reacts like a baking soda vinegar volcano, produces a gas, creates a participant at the bottom that is copper carbonate. Then when I want to patina the copper carbonate, I add sodium hydroxide and vitamin C to it in various amounts. And that the amounts that I add of those two change the color of the copper itself. And you know, the fun reactions are the ones where things change almost immediately and that's that's what you get from this because it starts out as a light teal blue and then it goes to a dark blue and then it goes green and then brown and then red and then yellow and you can get all kinds of colors in between and it's happening right there if you were to patina copper on your own it'd take anywhere from weeks to months I've done a little bit of research to see if anybody's patinaed copper carbonate on paper before, but I, I literally cannot find anything. So I, I think it's safe to say um, that this is something new and exciting. And I honestly, what I'm really excited to do is kind of get that process out there and see what other people do with it.